Welcome to Fireside Giants. My name is Alex and Joe Judge was just fired, my friends. Out of nowhere, out of the blue, nobody knew it was coming. The Giants just announced it. Joe Judge gone, finished, donezo. And now we get to move into the future. Of course, if you haven't heard yet, the Giants have comprised a pretty nice list of general manager candidates, including Joe Shane from the Buffalo Bills, assistant manager to Brandon Bean. He has been a really, really big part in helping this team, or rather that team, uh, develop and really for the fa- of the past five seasons they've made the postseason and you know uh, Shane is his right hand man so that's a really really good sign for the Giants going out that's their number one priority and of course that head coach job was a big big indicator in power flux right so essentially you're looking at Joe Judge if you're gonna force Joe Judge on a new a new GM candidate he's not gonna want the job a new GM candidate like Shane um, like Adam Peters there's a ton of other guys on the list are gonna want to say I want to pick my own guys I want to go out get my own head coach get my own offense as a coordinator, this, this, that. And think about Brian da- Dobble. Um, I don't know exactly how to say his last name, but I'm super excited right now because the Giants finally looking ahead to the future. I want to think the fans and guys like us and you guys watching the video had a say in this, being on social media, telling everybody, you know, really putting out the narrative that Joe Judge has got to go six consecutive losses, blowout losses, mind you, to end the season. In two years, he had 15 games where the Giants lost by 10 or more points. Ultimately, the nepotism, the inept, the incompetence, the synonyms you could come up with for the lackluster appearance and and production and performance of this team. Now, finally, we can put in the past, moving on from Dave Gettleman was a huge, huge, huge start. And letting him retire to begin with was completely embarrassing, in my opinion. He got to laugh and enjoy a game with his family as the team he built absolutely shat the bet against Washington. But now we get to look into the future and say, what does this team hold? Where do we go from here? Who's staying? Do the Giants go after a quarterback? Do the Giants stick with Daniel Jones for another season? Everything is up in the air. And I think that's for the best. They finally hit full restart, and they're going outside for a general manager hire. If you didn't check out the Joe Shane video Anthony just posted on the YouTube channel, go check it out on Fireside Giants because ultimately that's a guy that you probably really want leading this organization from the GM spot. You know, he's really, really has a lot of expertise. He was the director of personnel with Miami from 2014 to 2017, been with the Bills for the last four or five seasons. They made the postseason. They've developed Josh Allen, who was not an elite quarterback when he entered the league, developed him into an elite quarterback, and now he's one of the best in football. Of course, offensive line, I've been doing a little research into the Bills. Their offensive line is interestingly mixed between free agent signings and draft picks. They did not overspend like we did. We've been forced into positions where we had to overspend on the Nate Solders of the world, trades for Leonard Williams, over-investing in running backs, the interior defensive linemen. And I really think the Giants going out and getting a guy like uh, Joe Shane could develop a team that is built the right way, analytics being a part of it, and really take this this team to the next age. Joe Judge, um, you know, a lot of people were excited about Joe Judge. He said all the right things to get us hyped about this team. The problem is he never delivered. You know, I don't wish the guy bad. I don't wish him bad will. He'll land on a suite, I have no doubt. He has connections all over the league, Alabama, what you name it. He can go to Nick Saban and say, I want this job any single time he wants, and he'll get it. Ultimately, He'll find a, he'll find a spot. You know Ben McAdoo. He's with the Cowboys now. Pat Shermer just got fired from the Denver Broncos, so maybe he's not the best coach. Um, but Joe Judge moving on from him, you can tell. I'm really excited because I think that was the last page of the chapter that needed to be flipped. We needed to get rid of him. Two years, the team regressed. You know he said the rah rah speech, tried to get everybody behind him, and I don't think the Maras or the Tishes believed it. Um, you know this is essentially what um, they had to say. Um, at least John Mara after they fired him, they just they just announced it. Steve Tish and I both believe it is in the best interest of our of our franchise to move in another direction. We met with Joe yesterday afternoon to discuss the state of the team. I met again with Joe this afternoon, and it was during that conversation I informed Joe of our decision. We appreciate Joe's efforts on behalf of the organization. I said before the season started that I wanted to feel good about the direction we were headed when we played our last game of the season. Unfortunately, I cannot make that statement, which is why we have made this decision. We will hire a general manager, and that person will lead the effort to hire a new head coach. And if it's going to be Joe Shane, you better believe Brian Dabble is going to be one of the prime candidates, offensive coordinator for the Bills, helped develop one of the best passing attacks in football, used a quarterback like Josh Allen as a runner, as a passer, You know, really developed a nice scheme with good playmakers around him. Now, Dave Gettleman and Joe Judge leave behind an interesting group of guys. Kadarius Toney's a good player. They still got Kenny Galladay. Um, you still got Saquon Barkley on his rookie deal, fifth-year option. We'll see what happens there. Maybe they come over here and they end up trading Saquon Barkley to the Buffalo Bills. I've heard rumors that the Bills actually like Saquon Barkley, and they may consider trading him. So maybe there's a connection there between Brandon Bean and Joe Shane if that ends up happening. Of course, this is all theoretical. 
Uh, Mara went on to say, this will be a comprehensive search for our next general manager. We are looking for a person who demonstrates exceptional leadership and communication abilities, somebody who will oversee all aspects of our football operations, including player personnel, college scouting, and coaching. And Tish added, it is an understatement to say John and I are disappointed by the lack of success we've had on the field. We are united in our commitment to find a general manager who will provide the direction necessary for us to achieve the on-field performance and results we all expect. Now, of course, a lot of words. I like the the com, uh, the comprehensive list they've built, um, and I'll and I'll list off some of these names in a second. But ultimately, we need a guy who's going to come in here, communicate properly, and really help this team take the next step forward in terms of modernizing um, the guys who are currently in contention for the GM job. Ryan Poles um, from the Kansas City Chiefs, Joe Shane, Bills, Ryan Cowden, Monty Osafort, Quentin Wilson from Arizona, Adam Peters. Um, Rand Carthen. There's a lot of really great names on this list, um, but I think Shane really stands out as the one. Apparently, he's the priority. He's the one to beat. And the Giants giving him all this control to find his head coach, to find anybody he needs. You know, steal those guys from the Bills. Of course, the 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 Bill Belichick tree, the Patriots tree is it just doesn't work. I, I don't think. Uh, most people are going to have success coming from that tree. I think Bill Belichick is an anomaly. He is an unbelievable coach. He's one of the best, if not the best of all time. You can't find guys who are even going to replicate his abilities um, at all. You know, he's built something on his back. It is completely built. You can't bring in a guy. You need 15 years and Tom Brady to build something like that, a legacy, um, an institution. The Giants don't have that type of time frame. They don't have that type of uh, ability and flexibility. So going out and getting a new guy who you can believe in coming from a good tree with good connections and good uh, scouting uh, abilities, I think that's a really, really um, good sign for the Giants. Now, Joe Judge, I wish him nothing but the best. Um, I, I definitely think he kind of was a used car salesman by the end. He just was talking and not backing up any of his statements. Hopefully the Giants can get a guy who will back things up, won't just talk, but go and speak with his actions. Because I want to see a coach who speaks with action and not with his words all the time. I don't care about the film. I don't care about the rah-rah. I want to see a guy who goes out and gets it done and motivates his team. Now, the GM candidate list, this is going to happen quickly, guys. They're already starting to interview guys, um, including Shane, on Wednesday morning. There's going to be a ton of interviews most of them will be through Zoom because a lot of these guys are on playoff teams right now. So expect a lot of interviews coming up in the coming days. They want to get this done ASAP, right? Um, and of course, these assistant GMs, these guys don't really have an impact at this point in the season. There's not a lot of personal decisions they can make. So they, I wouldn't be surprised to see them actually hire someone as soon as possible so they can start a comprehensive search for a head coach. Now, if it's Shane, I expect to see Brian Dobble at the top of that list, but we'll find out very shortly. Now, guys, I hope you enjoy the hell out of this evening with Joe Judge being fired. I know we are all very excited. Um, you can tell from my voice, I really am excited to see what the future holds. We can now say that there's hope. I feel hope breeding, brewing within my body right now, and that's something I haven't been able to say for weeks, months, if not the last year. So really exciting uh, stuff here, and I'm excited to see what the future holds. We'll be obviously creating content daily for you to make sure you are up to date on everything you need to know. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Make sure to like, subscribe below, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.